Hello and welcome to a quick little tutorial video. In this video I plan to go over what in my opinion is the best way to mine for diamonds. And I mean since I've been applying this I have never really been low on diamonds and it's been phenomenal. So let's head down to one of my mine shafts and I'll show you what I mean. So in the past traditionally you would mine through the floor like this you would come down to a level like 10 13 or below and you would mine just a one by two space going in and this does work really well and you would skip to and make another line and this is how most players have been diamond hunting for a long time but i want to introduce to you a new method that was introduced with this update so in 1.14, if you didn't know already, there have been a few changes or a couple changes with crouching and crawling. If you get a trap door like this and you stand in front of it and close it on yourself, it will push you to the floor and you can crawl in a one by one space. So really what this means is that we can mine in a one by one space. So a big difference between the two is with every block you break with this method, you uncover one, two, three, four options. And on, yeah, for both sides, you reveal four possible options. But with this one, you reveal one, two, three, four, five for each one. And that really adds up over time. If we have a setup, something like this, we can really improve our mining rates by a lot so for each one of these you will be covering this entire area and then if you go over and up or down by one and then you can cover an entirely new area and do this in repeat and you should be able to mine really effectively one thing i'd always recommend to have on you is a water bucket just in case you do come across lava it would be really good to have and always carry spare trap doors on you in case like maybe you you walk into a cave and uh, you can't find you can't get yourself to crawl again or a bucket of water a bucket of water you can simply walk inside the source block and hit control or double tap w and you can go into the crawling animation and if you're able to, a silk touch pickaxe is really nice to have too. For times that you find stuff like redstone, you don't have to fill up your entire inventory space of redstone dust or lapis or coal. You can just pick up the blocks, even the diamond blocks themselves, the, the ore blocks, and take them back to base. Because I like to use a silk touch pickaxe to collect it all and then a fortune pickaxe back at the base once I am home and safe. That way I can collect as much as I want in my inventory. But I know Silk Touch can be hard for a lot of players to get. It's only if you have the means of getting it. So let's go ahead and spend a little bit and try and find some diamonds. And for moments like this where you run into gravel, it's good to have like a shovel on you. And also another reason why it's good to have some trap doors because if you accidentally go in here and stand up, you might be stuck. So you can prevent that just by placing some blocks there, just in case. If you run across lava like this, always dig a hole as fast as you can in front of you so the lava doesn't spread all the way to you. And usually if you don't have the means, I like to just plug this one up and head back and go down another hole. Now apparently one of the major drawbacks of this method is that in the later snapshots or in the later releases of 1.14, 1.14.2.3, they change it so that you can't quite sprint while you're in the crawling animation. So if you're somebody who is like me, this, this might feel like it takes a lot longer than it should, but it really is effective. And if you're somebody who's just starting out with like an iron pickaxe, I think this speed is perfect for while you're moving forward. Okay, so now let's try this hole. 
Something that's good to do too is if you ever need to use these trap doors to get back into the crawling position, try to just break it and pick it back up. That way, if you're if you're careful, you can really only bring just a couple of trap doors and you should be perfectly fine. And something I like to do when I find stuff like gravel and dirt, if I have a good shovel, I like to just dig this all out because it can reveal a lot of space. Also, gravel's something that's really nice to have nowadays. So it's kind of a win-win scenario. Ooh, gold. And if you don't want to crawl all the way back to your little mine shaft off in the distance, then I would find the spot that you would normally dig next. And I would start digging in that spot on the way back. So normally, if I was to go right here, then I would go over and down or up. So let's go down. So on the way back, I will do this one instead. That way you don't have to feel like you're just crawling slowly back and it just feels like a waste of time. You can go back and still be productive. And for a lot of new players, this pace is just the right pace where you can dig in front of yourself and if lava is underneath, then you'll have plenty of time to react and stop yourself from dying. Because that's, that's one thing with the two by one method that happens a lot is people end up dying. And there we go, we have our first diamonds. And also, if you find diamonds just like that that I just barely found, make sure you always dig around because sometimes they're not always touching the other diamond blocks around it. Ooh, I hear fire. Why do I hear fire? All right, and I came back right through the hole that I had already created. Perfect. So this method really does work well if you use the right tools, but there is there's nothing wrong with using the older method. I mean, if you're a new player and just want to find some diamonds the easy way, this this way is perfectly fine and you don't need to worry about it. It's just if you want to try something new, it's technically more efficient to do the new method. But again, it's only if you use the tools in the right way. Otherwise, this will be one that you can rely on all the time. Just remember when you do this one to skip to and go again. This is the most common form of strip mining. But another nice reason for this form of strip mining is that you don't technically need to light up the entire tunnel. Especially if you have Optifine, like me, where you can just hold a torch and it will light up the area around you. But nothing can spawn in a one by one block. But in this one, pretty much all mobs will be able to spawn in here. And so it's a place that you'll definitely want to keep lit up. Otherwise, whenever you come back down, you might be ambushed. Or you'll have to block it off so that nothing can get you except for baby zombies. Those things are evil. So yeah, I hope this video helped you guys out. I know there's a lot of new players out there starting Minecraft for the first time and this is a, a helpful trick that I've incorporated all the time and it has helped me to get a lot of diamonds. And if you guys are interested at all in seeing what this place is all about and the progress that I've made here, be sure to follow my survival series. I've been playing a Hermitcraft inspired world and it's been a lot of fun for me personally. And so yeah, if you guys don't mind, you can go check that out. And if this video does help you out in any way, like be sure to leave a like, leave a comment if you have anything to say. And if you would be willing to subscribe, that would be amazing. But let me guys know if you have any questions or would like me to show any other tips and tricks, especially for those beginners out there. And I'll be sure to do that. But this has been Frizz Critter and I will see you guys next time.